Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Hoops Empire. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the recent and very shocking reports that not only are the Celtics interested in making a trade for Kevin Durant, but that they have already made an offer and are mulling over a counteroffer likely as we speak. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow my socials in the description. Let's just start with wow. Just over a month after being two wins away from a championship, Brad Stevens already added two more solid rotational pieces, and while few thought he would be finished there, I'm not sure if we could have anticipated this. According to an oddly timed 2am report from Adrian Wojnarowski, better known as Woj, the Celtics have been in consistent contact with the Brooklyn Nets on a possible trade for Kevin Durant. This trade would likely be centered around Jalen Brown, according to said report. Here is an excerpt from that article, quote, the Celtics consider All-NBA forward Jason Tatum off-limits in any trade talks, but Boston is able to construct a package for Durant that could include Brown and as many as three unprotected first-round picks in 2025, 2027, and 2029, as well as two pick swaps in 2024 and 2026. So while it did offer a bit more insight, the report itself felt like recycled news. We all knew the Celtics could offer the best package for Kevin Durant but the price would be Jalen Brown. Just throwing it out there that discussions have been had wasn't really any groundbreaking news. I mean, it's Kevin Durant. You'd figure all other 29 teams likely made a call at some point in time. But the real, groundbreaking news came this morning. A report from Shams Tarania. The report not only enforced what Woj had said, but it added some pretty shocking news. The Celtics and Nets are no longer in the conversation stage. There has already been an offer made. Jalen Brown, Derek White, and a draft pick. An offer which was declined by the Nets and was met with a counteroffer that says, quote, Brooklyn has asked Boston in any proposal to include Brown, Defensive Player of the Year Marcus Smart, draft picks, and potentially one more rotation player. So there's a lot to unpack here, mainly centered around the question, is it too much? Jalen Brown, an ever-improving young star, Marcus Smart, who's the reigning Defensive Player of the Year with an improving offensive game, draft picks, and possibly another rotational player, for Kevin Durant, who is still nothing short of a superstar. The concern is the age factor. The Celtics can recover from losing Smart, picks, and another rotation guy in a Kevin Durant trade, but losing a star can be very risky. They don't grow on trees. Kevin Durant is approaching 34 years old, and while he does have four years left on his deal, who knows what he will look like on the latter portion of his deal. Jalen Brown has probably 10 to 12 years left in his career. Kevin Durant's current four-year contract could possibly be his last. The Celtics title window with Jalen Brown, although lesser in probability than with Kevin Durant, is significantly longer as long as the Jays spend their career in Boston if they do intend to do so. But that leads me to my next point. While none of us know as of right now, maybe something changed. Maybe Jalen Brown wasn't planning on re-signing with the Celtics when his contract is up in two years. And Brad Stevens knows this and is expediting a trade for the best possible player to mend in the meantime. It was already unlikely Jalen Brown signed a contract extension because he is eligible for significantly more money in free agency in 2024. You can never really effectively read into the mind of a player until they make a statement, but with all the Celtics have said about keeping the Jays, building around the core, corroborated with Jalen's past statements about loyalty to Boston, maybe something changed. On the monetary side of things, Kevin Durant is making an average salary of close to $50 million per year. However, it is an annual increase, so he'll be making $42 million in this upcoming season. Obviously a significant jump from Jalen Brown's $28 million, but since it's not a one-for-one -one trade and either Smart or White or someone like that would be included, salary matching should not be an issue. Looking at it from a roster construction standpoint, there is no doubt in my mind that when healthy, the Celtics would be the best team in the NBA. A projected starting lineup, if the trade did include Smart, would be Malcolm Brogdon, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Al Horford, and Robert Williams. You have the superstar talent, you have the defense, both perimeter and rim protection. You have playmaking, the shot making, as well as having one of the better coaching staffs in the league, and you still have Derek White, Grant Williams, Danilo Gallinari, and others coming off the bench. The main concern here is injuries. 
Here are some numbers of games played over the last two seasons from some of the Celtics players as well as Kevin Durant. Malcolm Brogdon has played 92 out of a possible 154 games. Robert Williams has played 113 out of a possible 154 games. Kevin Durant has played just 90 out of a possible 154 games. This definitely puts a bit of doubt in the mind of any fans willing to do the trade, especially when some of these guys are getting up there in age. However, you also have to factor in guys like Kevin Durant and Malcolm Brogdon will be doing the least amount that they have had to do in years. Jason Tatum, the team's current focal point, is one of the NBA's Ironmen, so to speak. He has played the third most minutes in the NBA over the last three years, and is just 15 minutes played away from being the NBA's leader in minutes played over that span. As a growing creator and playmaker, he will be able to take the load off of a scorer like Kevin Durant or a playmaker like Malcolm Brogdon, so hopefully they'll be able to see the floor more than they have in past years. No doubt, it is a tough pill to swallow regardless in this situation. We have all known and loved Jalen Brown for the better part of six years now. We have adored the heart and soul of the team in Marcus Smart for the better part of a decade. But with the publicity that this potential trade has already garnered just hours after its announcement by two separate, highly valued industry superstars in Shams and Woj, there is undeniably validity to these rumors. If you're Jalen Brown and the Celtics have offered you in a trade already, it probably doesn't feel good. Regardless who the player coming in was, even if it was Michael Jordan himself, it would be gut-wrenching to be traded by the team that drafted you, the city where you have put in so much work, started businesses in. However, at the end of the day, it is a business, and I'm sure these players all know this, being far from the first time their names have been thrown into the ring for potential trades. At the end of the day, it's Kevin Durant. This isn't some borderline superstar or all-NBA caliber player that you're risking your future for. It's one of the greatest players to ever grace the game. Injury concerns and all, he did just have his best statistical season in nearly a decade, averaging over 30 points per game on his typical unreal shooting splits. Pairing him with Jason Tatum, the same front court as last year, new additions Malcolm Brogdon, Daniil Gallinari, and others, you are nothing short of the best team in the NBA. He can offer great mentorship to Jason Tatum, being a similar player archetype, and likely elevate Tatum to new heights. It would hurt like hell to get rid of Smart and Brown, something that likely none of us would ever get over. I mean, I personally, I'm not even over the Isaiah Thomas trade. I've said it myself hundreds of times, I hope Jalen Brown is a Celtics lifer. But in the same note, you get to watch Kevin Durant, an all-time great, play night in, night out. Whether the trade happens or not is to be determined, but it feels fairly imminent based on recent reports. The Celtics will be fine either way, and will be competing for championships year in, year out for the foreseeable future. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Like the video if you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment below what your opinion is on the potential Kevin Durant trade. But most importantly, have a good one.